New studies reveal that bias, the atheists face bias in court. Recently, the British Journal of Psychology published a report that showed that jurors hold re holding religious beliefs are more likely to be biased against defendants who prefer to take an affirmation instead of swear an oath to a god, revealing a long-standing moral suspicion against non-religious people in many parts of the world. The study collected data from 443 participants through Prolific, an online platform. An oath is a religious commitment to speak the truth, while an affirmation is a secular version of the same pledge. The researchers acknowledged that even though taking an affirmation might not significantly impact all outcomes, the ingrained prejudice against non-religious defendants or witnesses could still be a factor that tips the balance in heavily contested cases. The data showed that people tend to see religious oaths as more convincing and trustworthy, and that religious individuals are more prejudiced against defendants who chose to take an affirmation. So, to back up, when you are in court in places like the US, the UK, and Australia, before you, you know, take the witness stand, for example, you have to swear an oath to you know, tell the truth and nothing but the truth, so help you God, is kind of the traditional version, right? And a, because we have a secular country, um, we, quote unquote, uh, <laughs> we have a version of that pledge that does not include reference to God. And that is just as legally binding as the traditional pledge that does include God, right? But this is talking about if the jurors who help decide the outcome of the case see a witness or a defendant take the affirmation without God, does it influence their opinion? And the researchers found that it does, especially, not entirely surprisingly, um, the jurors who self-identify as religious are more likely to show bias against someone who takes an affirmation instead of a pledge. And interestingly, there are even some non-believers who they don't believe, but they also show bias against, um, they also show bias against people who choose to take an affirmation instead of a pledge. So what do you think about this? I mean, it's, I'm not surprised, right? But yeah. how do we adjust for this? Like, what do we, how do we fix this? We should remove the, the authors yeah. of this study published in the British Journal of Psychology. They say that the solution to this is to remove religious pledges altogether. Right, right. That's the right. only solution. And just pledges as a whole, just remove pledges as a whole. Can we do that? Um, I don't know about that from a legal perspective, but they say that we should remove the religious pledges because the whole point is that it's supposed to not bias a jury, but they're finding that it does bias a jury. So the solution can only be to remove any distinction. Mm. Yeah, I agree with that. How likely it is for that to happen? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That would take a lot of campaigning. You can now get the sexiest blasphemous art ever known to mankind for free. Too sexy to show most of it here on YouTube. We draw Muhammad, Hindu goddesses, sexy hijabi art, Jesus, Mother Mary, Japanese God, Greek gods, and much, much more. Click on the link below where it says get our free blasphemous art.